Plan 9 from Outer Space is a point-and-click adventure game developed by Gremlin Graphics at their Irish development office for the Amiga and Atari Street. It was released in 1992 and published by Gremlin in Europe and by Konami in the United States. A DOS version was made but only released in the USA and Europe. There were two editions of the game. The rarer of the two came packaged by itself, while the other edition came with a VHS copy of the film of the same name. Topic. Background The game is inspired by the 1959 Z movie Plan 9 from Outer Space. Topic. Plot The game starts when the producer notices that the film has been stolen by Bella Lugosi's double. The player must carry out an epic search of the locations where Plan 9 from Outer Space was filmed to find the six missing reels. From the back of the DOS version box, Plan 9. The critics hated it. Bella Lugosi died during it. And his double has stolen it. Lugosi's replacement is still bitter after 33 years from critics' reviews dubbing his only movie, the worst film of all time. Even though he remained faceless, he intends to bring glory to the cult classic using more footage of himself and colorizing it. As the studio's private eye you'll search over 70 locations, find the six reels and screen the film, frame by frame, to ensure that the warped actor did not cut Bella from the flick. Using actual digitized film footage, you'll sweat each scene, examining Plan 9 with slow motion, freeze frame, fast forward and rewind. It's up to you to preserve its original awfulness. Topic. Reception Computer Gaming World's Charles Ardai criticized the game's cheap user interface and mediocre graphics and sound, which made him uncertain whether various continuity errors were accidental or intended to satirize the film. Ardai stated that Plan 9 is a genuinely, intentionally funny piece of work, which puts it several notches above the movie, in my opinion, thoroughly enjoyable, and funnier than Zach McCracken. He added, however, that as a licensed product, parasitic on an original work, it's smirking digs at this rather pathetic relic of a movie. Sometimes has the tone of a schoolyard bully taking cheap shots at a defenseless victim. Without the sincerity and guilelessness of Wood's film, in this respect, the game attains a degree of cheapness that even the movie didn't reach, which is quite an accomplishment. The game was reviewed in 1993 in Dragon No. 190 by Hartley, Patricia, and Kirk Lesser in The Role of Computers. Column. The reviewers gave the game 2 out of 5 stars. 